Hi guys, welcome back. This is Rakhi Jha. I'm going to do this uh, long charcuterie board um, or cheese board. It's solid wood and uh, I'm planning to do some resin work on these at the handles and maybe um, make it come in uh, towards the center of the board uh, and leaving the, the middle plain. So this is the resin that I've mixed up. It's called Epoch Art Resin, but any art resin would do. And uh, with resin, you just have to follow uh, the instructions that come with the bottle because the instructions some, uh, sometimes may vary uh, depending on the brand. So this one says um, one is to three ratio of the um, resin and the hardener. Uh, so um, I just followed that and I mixed a batch up. And um, I think for this, I mixed up approximately 150 grams or 160 grams. Um, and what I've done is I've, uh, I'm gonna do it in three colors. Um, this, these colors come for resin. They're in a liquid form itself. Uh, this one is a cinnabar orange. Then I'm doing um, a live coral. And then uh, this one is a powder pigment. So you could do either. So the, the, the liquid form, I've always found the gold to be very diluted, more transparent. So I'm using a powder pigment for, uh, for this because I want the colors to really stand out. And those are your three colors. Uh, I've left a little bit of clear resin just in case. Um, I'll see how the, um, you know, the, the design goes. And if need be, I have some uh, glitter over there and another uh, red color. Uh, I may add them. I am not sure yet. Uh, this is a process that evolves naturally. And, you know, sometimes I change it along the way, uh, even though I've planned something. So without wasting any more time, um, let's get started. So I'm going to start with the darkest red. Let me spread this first. Okay, the idea is to get a little bit more red here. So not very close to that, but right next to it, you want to pour the other color. And then this is your time when you can make a little bit of a design. So I think I'm going to go like a big wave. So I'm going to start from here. I'm not going to try to put too much and spread it because I'm going to layer, um, I'm thinking of layering a gold on top of it. And resin shifts, so it does become bigger than what you've poured. got a lot of air bubbles but I'll get that later
cut a paper piece and I'm going to do a little bit of a swipe to blend it. Quickly get it with the blue torch. Uh, the blue torch, yeah. the resin with the heat gun a little bit on low I'm going to let this, this side sit a little bit and then see how it blends and maybe add a touch of more color uh, here and there and just suit the design a little bit while I do the other side. I've added a little bit of glitter to this gold and I just want to do it at the edge. <laughs> 